retail sales institutions accumulate Bitcoin holding the 70,000 US dollar level. Taking over from Solana's continued meme effect, Base has become the new playground for meme coins. The sentence was unexpectedly discounted. Isn't it too cheap for SBF? 199 investors participated. Mida unlocking 100 time coin momentum is inevitable. With the help of Musk and nearly 200 million followers, do you think Dogecoin can reach one US dollar? The crypto market is seeing an army of zombie blockchains. Forbes unveils 20 empty shell giants. We shape the world using the power of crypto one step at a time. Do you want to uncover the secret of digital wealth? Let's grow our bank balance together. On Friday, March 29th, how is the crypto industry? I'm Zhu, and this is the headline sponsored by Deepcoin. As of 2 p.m. today, Bitcoin has stabilized above 70,000 US dollar, and the funding rate has remained in a positive territory, indicating that most market participants are bullish. If the funding rate is negative, most market participants are bearish and shorting. Although Bitcoin experienced a noticeable pullback in the previous two weeks, the funding rate only dipped slightly but remained positive. This week, the spot Bitcoin ETF has seen net inflows for the first four days, so the market sentiment and trend are in an optimistic upward warming state. So where are the Bitcoins held in the current stable market? In the past month, addresses holding over 100k Bitcoins have decreased from 699,000 to 567,000 Bitcoins, reflecting the selling by whales represented by Grayscale's GBTC. The turnover of these early profit holdings is conducive to forming a high price consensus for Bitcoin. Large institutions holding between 10k to 100k Bitcoins have increased their holdings by 70,000 Bitcoins. Addresses holding between 100 to 1k Bitcoins have accumulated an additional 150,000 Bitcoins, completely absorbing the selling pressure from whales. Retail addresses holding between 1 to 10 Bitcoins have additionally accumulated over 100,000 Bitcoins. So what are the main contributors to this portion? The data shows that it's mainly various retail groups holding less than 10 Bitcoins. It can be seen that retail investors are continuously giving up their positions, while whales, institutions and large holders are continuously absorbing and replacing positions at higher prices to form a new consensus and accumulate strength for Bitcoin's subsequent price rise. After going crazy for nearly a month, the heat of meme coins on the Solana chain has significantly cooled down, and funds need to find a new hotspot. The new base chain has become the new wealth creation opportunity. In the past week, the transaction volume on the base chain has skyrocketed, with the daily average transaction surging from 450,000 last week to 2.17 million, a nearly fivefold increase. The TVL on the base chain has surged from 400 million US dollar to 1.1 billion US dollar. With an inflow of over 700 million US dollar in just one month, an increase of 175%. Where there's money, there's bound to be a wealth creation effect. Base daily fee income alone can reach 900,000 US dollar, and the market heat is still brewing. Subsequently, Base Chain may become a mainstream blockchain. Today, the hottest news in the crypto world is undoubtedly the sentence of Sam Bankman Fried SBF, the founder of FTX. Once upon a time, SBF became a shining star in the crypto world thanks to the rise of the FTX exchange. However, with the bankruptcy of the FTX exchange, SBF's glory instantly vanished. Last October, the cryptocurrency fraud case began trial, and many experts predicted that SBF could face up to 110 years in prison for being convicted of seven charges including fraud and money laundry. Yesterday, the case was finally sentenced, but unexpectedly, this eternal crypto criminal SBF who betrayed trust did not receive 110 years or 50 years, but 25 years. According to federal law, prisoners still have the possibility of parole for good behavior, typically reducing their sentence by up to 54 days per year. This means that a prisoner sentenced to a longer term may actually only need to serve around 85% of the time. A Ruth Segal, a victim of FTX who lost over $4 million in assets on the FTX exchange, expressed dissatisfaction with a 25-year sentence, stating, 
it is a sickening light sentence, an insult to the victims. Netizens on the X platform have been venting their frustrations about the verdict. This result surprised many people with some netizens even joking, the sentence can be discounted, I have truly seen it all. However, it's worth noting that the 25-year sentence is not set in stone. According to the regulations of the U.S. Federal Bureau of Prisons, prisoners have the opportunity for sentence reduction due to good behavior. This means that SVS extra time served could be significantly shortened. There is precedent as the former CEO of Enron only served about half of the original sentence due to good behavior. Now, SBF has begun his long sentence. It remains to be seen whether he will reflect on his mistakes behind bars and regret his former glory and current downfall. Retail investors want 100 time coins. In secondary exchanges market, you can only get lucky and have a very low probability of encountering them. Only by truly entering the primary market can you highly grasp the opportunity. Our MeDAO is the channel for retail investors to enter the primary market. Let me first share some good news with our shareholder friends. Our MeDAO Phase 1 Project Network 3, which we launched in January this year, has already seen a three-time valuation. I'm confident that by the end of the two-year investment cycle, the investment returns will definitely not disappoint our shareholders. Yesterday, the investment in MeDAO Phase 2 also concluded perfectly. How were the results? Let's take a look together. MeDAO, the first DAO VC in Asia, officially launched on March 14th with a minimum investment of 5,000 USDT per wallet address and a cap of 500,000 USDT. The fund's investment period is one and a half years with a half-year recovery cycle, and the expected investment cycle will be compressed to about two years. As of March 20th at 1844, the deadline for the project, spanning two weeks, a total of 199 people invested, raising a total amount of 1.617 million, nearly double the number of new investors compared to the first round. Midout's investment strategy focuses on the primary market, inscriptions, public chain infrastructure, and other upstream fields. There will be more projects irregularly in the future, so everyone keep an eye out. What's the appeal of MIDA that has attracted so many investors? First, MIDA's investment areas are the future focus of cryptocurrency development. Second, MIDA emphasizes decentralization, giving investors more decision-making power. Here, you are no longer blindly touching the elephant, but can clearly see the strengths and weaknesses of each project, allowing you to make wiser investment decisions you all know how difficult it is to build a proper DAO in China. Since we are pioneering a DAO, we have prepared for F3 and decentralization is our result. You can use your voting rights to decide what projects we undertake, giving everyone decision-making power and no longer blindly guessing. This is the significance of our mid-DAO. One dog achieves enlightenment, doggy coin ascends, leading the surge of dog-themed meme coins. Gold on the outside, rotten within. Ripple is questioned as a zombie blockchain. After acquiring Twitter, Musk has been remodeling it from abandoning the Blue Bird logo and renaming it X to venturing into payments, banking, and commerce. He wants to turn X into a super app like WeChat with comprehensive features and no ads. As X obtains more money transmission licenses in the US, the goal of making X an all-capable app gets closer. Recently, when Musk shared the animation from X user Doggy Designer, he commented the circle will be complete, which directly sent Doggy Coin soaring. Data shows that Dogecoin prices soared to their highest level since December 2021, yesterday with significant increases in trading volume and open invest in futures. As of 2 p.m. today, Dogecoin was trading at 22 cents, with a 17% increase in the past 24 hours and nearly a 40% increase in the past week. Since the beginning of this year, 
Dogecoin's value has surged by 145 percent. Dogecoin is my is my sort of favorite cryptocurrency because uh, it has the best humor and uh, has dogs. Amid Dogecoin surge, some dog themed meme coins and NFTs have also seen significant gains. Bonk and Flocky grew by 15% and 13.7%, respectively, in the past 24 hours, entering the top three in terms of growth. Achi NFT recently sold for over $4.3 million, becoming the most expensive meme NFT sold to date. Doc Whip Hat NFT sales set a record with a transaction volume of 1,210.759 Ethereum. Wow, it's truly one dog achieves enlightenment. All dogs ascend to heaven. So this thing called meme coins closely related to meme culture, and the fusion of this used meme culture with the cryptocurrency market is undoubtedly a highlight of the current market. Let's talk about which of these coins might reach a trading price of $1. I think Doge coin has the highest possibility with just the traffic of nearly 200 million followers of the richest man Musk on X. Is that not enough for you to digest? In the seemingly prosperous cryptocurrency market, some blockchain projects like Zombies, all facets and no substance, Recently, the renowned financial media Forbes named a batch of these crypto zombies, including once prominent names like XRP, ADA, and LTC. These blockchains, aside from being playthings for speculators, are practically useless. Once upon a time, Ripple Labs entered the crypto market with XRP, ambitiously aiming to create a new global financial standard. However, Ripple's internal blockchain, besides collecting insignificant transaction fees, has almost stagnated. Although the XRP token has a market cap of 36 billion US dollar, it has virtually no practical use beyond speculation. This situation reminds one of the old saying, the guardian on our side, rotten inside. And Ripple is not the only zombie blockchain project. Amid Dogecoin surge, some dog themed meme coins and NFTs have also seen significant gains. Bonk and Flocky grew by 15% and 13.7%, respectively, in the past 24 hours, entering the top three in terms of growth. Achi NFT recently sold for over $4.3 million, becoming the most expensive meme NFT sold to date. Doc Whip Hat NFT sales set a record with a transaction volume of 1,210.759 Ethereum. These blockchains, regardless of their type, have failed to achieve their grandiose visions of the past, merely lingering on the fringes of the crypto market and grasping for breath. So, why are these zombie blockchains able to continue existing? The reason lies in their massive cash reserves. These Blockchain projects raised vast sums through token insurance enough to sustain them for many years, even if their business stagnate, as long as there are enough speculators willing to trade these tokens, they can continue wandering in the crypto market. However, such a situation is ultimately unsustainable. Although there is no clear liquidation process for dead crypto protocols, the market has a discerning eye. Over time, the true nature of these zombie blockchains will inevitably be exposed, and their market capitalization will collapse accordingly. Google now supports searching to display wallet balances for cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Phantom, Arbitrum, etc. When entering a wallet address, the search results will show the remaining token balance in each network wallet as well as the time of the last balance update. On March 28, 1997, Adam Black invested the proof-of-work POW theory, which provided a crucial theoretical foundation for Satoshi Nakamoto's creation of Bitcoin. As of March 28, the POW theory celebrates its 27th anniversary. Security, a DeFi security firm, posted on social media that Prisma Finance had been attacked, resulting in the theft of 
$1.8 million. Data indicates that Bitcoin mining difficulty underwent an adjustment at block height to 836,640 with a decrease of 0.98% to 83.13 T. The current network's average hash rate is 595.44 Ethereum per second. On March 27, the trading volume on Ethereum's on-chain decentralized exchanges DEX, reached $2.59 billion, ranking first. Binance Smart Chain BSC on-chain DEX daily trading volume was $1.473 billion, ranking second. Solana on-chain DEX daily trading volume was $1.131 billion, ranking third. Patience is the highest art of financial investment. This classic saying is very applicable in the crypto industry. We have all experienced situations in the crypto world where we couldn't resist curiosity. So you watch the charts, couldn't resist greed, so you increase the positions. If you cannot resist luck, so you held position. Couldn't resist hesitation, so you closed position. If you cannot resist fear, so you cut losses. Couldn't resist the gambling, so you blew up your account. If you cannot resist the unwillingness, so you enter again, continuously losing, losing, losing. Even blowing up accounts, what's going on? In fact, many investors don't lack analytical ability or investment experience, but simply lack a high degree of patience. Whether the market is rising or falling, as long as you can stay calm, you have a chance to make money. Okay. That's the main content of today's program. If you find our channel valuable, welcome to forward and follow us. You can also become our member by clicking the top right corner to see our membership benefits. Our channel focuses on valuable news from crypto, blockchain, and mining industry. From Monday to Friday, we have news updates, and from Saturday to Sunday, we have in-depth special reports. You can get our Monday to Friday wealth codes as well as industry articles from our special authors. Let's gradually become rich together. See you tomorrow.